I would say mysterious, unsettling, and uh, hopefully engrossing. Um, the original inspiration for the family upstairs was actually a woman I saw um, on my holidays in the south of France a couple of summers ago. Um, I saw this young mum taking her two small children, sneaking them illegally into the shower block at the back of a posh beach club. Um, I assume purely because they'd been in the sea and she probably wanted to wash the seawater off them. But being a writer, my imagination ran away with me and I decided that there must be a much more interesting story behind this woman sneaking into the shower block. Um, and I felt very strongly that I wanted to write a book about her and make a story for her. And that was the original inspiration. The other thing I really wanted to write about with this novel was a, a house. I've always loved writing about houses and houses can often be like a feature, like a main character in my books. Um, and I wanted a house where there was a certain level of anonymity, where bad things could be happening behind the front door and nobody would know about it. And I thought of this bank of houses that face over the Thames on Cheney Walk in Chelsea. A lot of them are uninhabited, a lot of them are empty. Um, and I googled uh, houses on Cheney Walk and a picture of this house came up. And I thought that is the house, that's the house where I want my family to live. My favourite character is, without a doubt, Henry. Um, I absolutely love writing about children and teenagers and we follow Henry from a child of nine years old to being a 16-year-old. Um, he's a very interesting character. He's black and white and all the shades of grey in between. And even as a writer writing him, I was never sure whether he was good or bad, what his intentions were, whether he was damaged or twisted. Um, and it was just a joy to write him and find out more and more about him as I wrote him. I think I'd like my readers to feel all sorts of things. The three characters are all having three very different experiences. So when they're with Libby, I'd like them to feel caring um, and soft. When they're with Lucy, I'd like them to feel concerned and worried. And when they're with Henry, I'd like them to feel completely wrong-footed and not know where they stand with him at all. Um, but mostly I'd really like the reader to be in an absolute fevered reading frenzy, unable to put the book down until they find out what it's all about.